Um, uh, I don't know what turns a room into a poem, but every show I've been involved with this year has in some ways wrestled with that essential mystery. How does presence manifest in an empty room? How does the silence of a room hold the noise of the world? It's grief, it's desire, it's joy, it's music. What story, whose stories, whose voices stay in a room once they are gone? And by what alchemy are those voices amplified and brought back to life? The pursuit of these questions is something I am very proud and very honored to spend my life doing. And I'm doing it in incredible company. I love everything about Stereophonic. Thank you, Daniel, for asking me along this journey with you seven years ago. To our producers, especially Playwrights Horizons and John and Sue for leading with generosity in this process. <laughs> Always asking us what we needed, not telling us what we couldn't have. Personally, myself and my husband uh, have needed generosity and the strength and support of all of my colleagues this year more than ever, and I have been truly overwhelmed by your humanity. I love what the people in this room do. I am humbled to be in your company, and I thank you. <laughs> <laughs>